Hey there, this is a bit more of an impromptu, impromptu video. I just got back from Lowe's and I was picking up some supplies for a project that I thought you might be interested in, a sticker display. So if you don't know, I should probably introduce myself. So I'm Kimberly, I'm a watercolor artist. I sell my artwork on prints and stickers and notebooks and all kinds of things at art shows. And I make a lot of my own displays because that just, sometimes I try things from the store and they don't work out well. So I'm gonna try and document the new displays that I make. Today I'm thinking about my sticker display. First off, I would like to show you what I used to use and why I need to adjust things or upgrade it. So this is what I was using before. It's just this clear acrylic display that was um, actually marketed for like nail polish. It works pretty well, but I've run out of space. So I have more stickers than this holds. So I need a bigger display. And I thought while I'm at it, why don't I revamp things, make it more my style. This isn't really my style. More like natural fibers, wood, that kind of thing fits my artwork better. I went to Lowe's and picked up a few of these and a few of these. These are, I'm not, they're called poplar squares. Um, so they're like a quarter inch square by 36 inches. I got four of these totally just estimating. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure out along the way. And then I got five of these. So these are, I think a quarter inch. Let me see. Okay. Yep. Quarter inch by two inches by four feet. Um, I think that's not exactly two inches. It's probably 1.75 in actual width. I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along for the brainstorming process, but basically my plan is to start with this as my base and I'm probably going to glue everything. And I'm going to put this in the middle, so like a T, that's gonna be the start, okay? So if you can kind of envision that, and then I'm just going to kind of keep building on top of that, just duplicating that first design. So just imagine like multiple T's on top of each other like this, kind of get in the picture. And then I'm gonna use these little squares as the part that's going to hold the um, stickers up so they don't fall over or so they don't slide off. And I'm not sure if I need, here, if you can see this, I'm not sure if I just need one thickness or if I feel like I need it to be a bit taller to actually hold them up, I might do two glued on top of each other like this. Let me grab some stickers to kind of show this. So here's one of my stickers and I usually have just like a pile of them out like this. So, this is how they would be in my old display. And of course the clear is nice on here because it's a tall, like a tall thing that holds it in place, but then it's got that, um, it's clear so people can see through it. So honestly, like the, one of these might be enough, but I think I will probably do two to be safe. And I don't want to lose much of my image, so let's see what that looks like. I mean, that looks pretty good. You don't really lose too much. It's only gonna, it's only half an inch thick. Okay, update. I have decided I'm actually going to do two displays that are approximately the same size as this one that I had because I ordered so many new stickers that I'm going to need double the display real estate that I had before. So I'm basically going to mimic this plastic one that I had, which is nice. I have a little template that I can use, but I wanted to offer a tip. That's why I hopped on here again. In my uh, rudimentary woodworking project, I've learned a couple of things. So I was about to go through and mark each one of these boards separately. And then I remembered, 
I can cut these together. So I measured out the lengths that I want and I can get three out of each of these. So I marked that, you know, so I've got the, um, about, I've got 12 and a half inches plus a saw, saw blades width between so that that is correct and then these will all be exactly the same size since i'm cutting them in the same cut so i've just got some tape on here tape them together and then i will cut them on my uh miter saw all as one here is just like a glimpse into my plan here my master plan so i want three shelves pretty similar to this and so I'm going to add a support on the side here where that big space is. And then that is basically it. Earlier I said I was going to do like a T thing, but I've realized that's too short. I actually need, because um, this display turns out is like exactly this same width. So I'm actually going to use the full width the full like two inch width of these boards. What I'm going to do is start by gluing a, this L. So I'm gonna put glue this board to this board. And then I'm going to glue on this U shape. And I think that's gonna be my plan of action. At least that's what it is right now. Um, I'm going to start putting it together and then I will keep you informed on like whether I changed my plan or not. Okay, so here is my setup for the first step. It was a little tricky to get these pieces to glue together because they're very thin. Um, but yeah, I gotta wipe away some of that glue in there. But that is first step done. It is the next day. I wanted to give you an update on how I built this so far. Here is where we are. I used this stack of extra boards to try to keep this part straight when I had it um, clamped down from here to here. That worked pretty well. This is actually surprisingly sturdy. So I'm not going to leave it just open like this. What I'm going to do is cut one of these, put it in here, something like this. Although I don't like that this comes out the side. So we'll see what we can do about that. But I'm pretty happy with how it is right now. I cut up my little quarter inch. I don't know what these things are called, little, they're not dowels, well they're square dowels I guess. So I'm going to be gluing these onto there. The nice thing is this is very lightweight um, and I'm going to make two of these so then I'll have two side by side and they'll be easier for me to pack up for my art shows. Okay, I think I'm all done. So I just have this last dowel on here right now the clamps this is how I was clamping each one on it's a little bit tricky I mean this is all made with glue just clamping it together um, but I think that will be fine but it's a little bit tricky to keep the, get the clamps on in the first place but then it works out pretty well I think so there's the clamps off I uh, only got enough dowels to do both of my displays if I do one thickness here rather than two. So I'm just going to try this. I haven't put anything on the sides yet. Um, I might... Oh, those are too long. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. I'll have to trim these and I might put them on the side. Oops, sorry. But I don't even know if I'll do that. I don't know if it's necessary. Now I'm going to load this up with all my stickers and see what it looks like. And there you have it. Here is the final display. I think it came out pretty well. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to add those little stoppers at the ends because I like that they can kind of 
stick out the side if I need to because not all the stickers are the same size so I think that works well and I'm gonna build another one exactly the same way so they can go right beside each other and I can have double the space. All right, have a great day everyone.